Anyway, um... And we are live with day two of the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. So let's go uh, save a child. Hurry up and come on! Wait for me, Luke. Pat? <gasps> Pat and Luke? Huh? Oh, it's you two. Oh, great, it's Estelle. Hi there, Joshua. Okay, little twerp. What's with the... Oh, great, it's Estelle remark. And what's the big hurry? How about telling us where you're headed? You're not thinking about wandering out of town alone, are you? The roads are full of monsters, I hope you know. You're such a pest, Estelle. Oh. Don't you know there's no room for girls to be sticking their big fat noses in boys' business? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> when did this game come out again? <laughs> Quit acting like you're a bracer, you wanna be. How wrong you are, Luke. How incredibly wrong. You're more wrong than a fool who thinks they're better. There's better tasting milk in the barrel than the milk comes from the. Brazil farm? What? No way. You're full of it, Estelle. In fact, as of just a few minutes ago, we qualified to become real bracers. Are you getting what I'm saying? A real bracer. Well. More like a training, really. Don't think you should be getting on your high horse just yet, Estelle. Now, high pony on the other. Quit being a killjoy. Wow, you two are great. I'm so happy for the both of you. Of course, the kid named Luke is the is the little twerp. Mm. Oh, Pat, you're such a good little boy. Unlike that smart aleck and cynical brat you called. <laughs> this isn't fair. I was supposed to go embrace her first. You're literally like five. What? Except jo uh, Joshua became a bracer before me, but get ain't passed by the likes of Estelle. Ah, uh, what's the likes of Estelle supposed to mean? Mm. Just so you know, you can't even be a bracer until you're 16 years old. Get it? Only mature people are allowed. But how the fuck did you manage to do it? And that means no little kids are still going to Sunday school. I know I should put this, Estelle, but Sunday school is dying to have you back. Mm. You better watch out, Estelle. I'm going to go train on my secret base. Before you know it, I'm going to be a bracer too. Come on, Pat. Let's go. All right, I'm coming. See you later, Estelle. Bye, Joshua. That boy, Luke. He's always trying to pick a fight with me. I don't know if he just plain hates me or something. Rather, I think it's the exact opposite. What do you mean by that? Don't worry about it. I'm just... It's just the boy thing. Oh, boy. Then, what do you think Luke meant when he said secret base? I don't know why, but somehow it makes me a bit curious. I know exactly what you mean. Secret base sounds really intriguing. The pure heart of a young child can be so inspiring at times. That's not really what I meant by curious. <laughs> Hold up. Uh, let's see. PP, bada bing, blah, blah, blah. Carmelia Chapter 
Thanks to the airliners in recent days, even Roland has been able to get a good selection of books. But I knew one each time I had a, a, a store, but I get yelled at my wife for getting so many, so maybe I should come back a bit. I've only got the first chapter of the novel, so if you want, I'll give it to you. Carnelia! Uh, fun fact for those who aren't, you know, old hat at this. I believe Carnelia is the story of, what's her name? Rose. Emma... Emma's grandma, technically. Without Luke had come home, he took a the door again. And it was almost ready too. The boy's always running around like his pants are on fire. You just can't sit still for two minutes. Auto saving. Oh boy. I love that. Every time I move anywhere. What's no, We should let Dad know that we call for his junior bracers. Yeah, I forgot about that. Hmm. Wait. No, this is the lightning port. Ah! It's telling me to sell the book, but I'm not. I'm not going to. Malga Trail. <laughs> okay, so no matter what, we can't figure out where this kid is going. Uh, do, 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 do. No, that's the Orbital Factory. Written general goods. Oh, uh, you asked to come bracers. Uh, you bet we did. Maybe I should have you start calling me hyper. <laughs> no. <coughs> did the liberal news come in? <laughs> I'm dying, by the way. Came in a little afternoon. Don't brush me off like that, you two. Oh, whatever. I'll take one copy then. That comes to 100 meter, please. Purchase liberal news for sure. I know I always buy a copy of this magazine, but does it really sell that well? Sure does, the Libero News has an excellent reporter and camera woman who have uh, done a great job reporting the latest and most reliable news. They're even supposed to have a running story related to Queen Alicia's birthday celebration. And one more thing before you go, this gift is my way of saying congratulations. It's free sap I see with my shipment of goods, don't hold the free part against me. This is the way forward, there's a ton of blank page. It's a rest book, isn't it? You got it! When you get hurt fighting, if you just limit yourself to healing bombs all the time, it's going to cut pretty deep into your wallets. This is where recipe book comes into play. If you eat food to recover your strength, it's said it's basically free. So we have all the ingredients anyway, so if you eat something new, write down what it's in, <laughs> what's in it, and you'll have lots of recipes in no time. So how about we try this out? Go ahead, eat this cookie still. Well, I made it a personal rule to never turn down sweets. Basically all I have to do is eat the food to learn the recipe. It's as simple as that. You know? I wish it was really that simple in, uh, in Cold Steel. As you're traveling about, you should eat whatever food you come across that you haven't had an opportunity to try before. Well, that sounds pretty convenient. Um, it's not that I don't like cooking at all, it's just that I never seem to get any better. I should love to be able to increase my repertoire and really shock my dad's taste buds for once in my life. That's the spirit! And in passing, if you're in need of any ingredients, I'd be lying to service your cooking needs. You really know how to solicit your customers, Mr. Renan. Thank you for the recipe book, we'll put it to good use. Or use it, go to meals, add the recipe to... Okay, it's literally how it is in Gold Steel. That's that's good. Let's like this book. All learned recipes will be as long as the ingredients are available. The food can be made. There are two types of food: sit-down meals, which must be eaten on the spot, and to-go meals, which can be carried as items. Sit-down meals cannot be carried as items. Ingredients used for cooking can be bought at a store or acquired from monsters. Okay, so Northwest <sighs> I 
It's telling me to go through the sewers again, so let's go to the sewers. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, I seem to remember you saying something about it last time I had you run into the store. Yes, that's right. So I trade and go. That moment, trust me, I should have expected anything less from Cassie's kids. There were still braces in training. I see, but well, you're gonna have to give up your part time job here sooner or later. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Don't sweat it. I knew it happened eventually, or hired you on. It's a shame, though, there's hardly anyone there with as good an eye for us as you. But that's the path you've chosen, so get out there and show us what you're made of. Ah! Oh, that's interesting. Oh. Oh, they don't have the, uh, the, like, Sepith Mass thing. Okay. Um. Okay, so this is just to get, um, a sap it from them. That's why. Not gonna bother this. Or maybe I will. I don't I don't like doing grinding in these games because there's no need. Or at least there isn't in cold steel. Like this is this like oh you should do set subscribe no I'll be fine. All right, let's head out. Um.
Anyway. Uh, uh, I hate the distractions in some of these guys. Like, oh yeah. Okay, so not here. Let's just go south. Stell, Joshua, am I glad I found you two? Mm, there we go. Oh, I know. There's something wrong. You seem to be in quite a hurry. We've got a bit of a problem. Is your father at home today? Yes, he is. He said something about having to sort out a bunch of documents. But what's going on? You know, look at Pat, right? You sure we do. In fact, we saw them not that long ago. What's wrong? Are they in some sort of trouble? I don't know how to say this, but I just heard from Uni that Luke and Pat ran off to the tower that lies on the northern outskirts of Roland. You mean the Tower of Ismelis? Isn't that place supposed to be a breeding ground for monsters? That's what they say. Unfortunately, at the moment, Sherizard is out on other bracer business, so I want to ask your father to bring the boys home safely. What are you talking about? There's no time for that. Josh and I will go after them and bring them back. I don't know if that's such a good idea. The two of you only just qualified to be junior bracers, bracers today. With all due respect, I believe that Estelle's judgment is correct in this situation. If the two of us hurry, we may even be able to catch up with the boys before they reach the tower. I understand. I will take responsibility for whatever happens. As an emergency request from the Bracer Guild, I ask that you lose no time in bringing about the safe return of these children. Roger that. Understood. The Esmeralda's Tower can be reached by taking the western path at the junction along the Malga Trail. You can get onto the Malga Trail through Roland's northwest gate. I'll be on stand by the guild, so if you're into any trouble, you know where to find me. This is our first real job. Come on, Joshua, we don't have any time to lose. I'm right behind you. There we go! Looks safe. Ah. As well as tower is this way. Well, that was bound to happen. Run, yes. Hush. 
But there's usually an ornament station right uh, in front of the uh, beginning of maps. It looks like we've come all the way to the Esmeralda Tower. I didn't see a sign of them along the trail, so do you think we they've wandered inside? It's quite likely that's the case. Let's go in. It looks like we'll need to hurry. Right. Uh... So, so rush in with Joshua. It's dark in here. I'm scared. Quit being a baby! We're only, we're only on the first floor of this place. Did you hear that? They really did come in here. Inhale. Estelle, are you alright? Luke! Pat! If you can hear me, answer me now! Oh boy. Those little brats. Are they pretending they can't hear me? They might have climbed up to the second floor. Let's hurry and see if we can find them. I forget what... Buttons? Map? I'm looking for chests. What are we going to do? Somebody help! Oh fuck. Rush in simultaneously with Joshua is the correct answer! Both in the guide and... The obvious two is better than one. Let's go, Joshua. Right, I got your back. Oh, heck. You monsters go somewhere else. No, shoo, shoo, leave us alone. Shoo on this. Wapow. Estelle, what are you doing here? Joshua, you're here too. Get back to these monsters aren't paying, playing around. We'll take care of them. Protect all NPCs. If an NPC's HP is zero, the game is over. The animation's not as good as, um, Cold Steel, but that makes sense. I got gypped. Looks like that's that. Yeah, I'm glad everyone's safe too. Okay. Uh, yeah, glad everyone's safe too. By the way, that was great timing the way you blitzed those monsters and stuff. You really think so? Is it safe now? Oh man, that was awesome. You really showed them, Estelle. Not bad for a girl. I hate you. You little twerp. Ow, that hurts. What are you trying to do to me? 
What's wrong with you? You even dragged poor Pat all the way up here against his will. The sad thing about what you did today. Oh, it tells. Ow, you're hurting me. Stop it. No, you deserve it. I said stop it, you violent she devil. She does not deserve that. Is this the thanks I get for saving your neck, huh? It looks like it's time to give you some of my special discipline. Oh, boy. Ow, 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 ow. All right, Estelle, I'm sorry. Everything was all my fault. Um, Estelle, should we forgive each other like they teach at school? Nah, fuck that shit. This man doesn't need forgiveness, but a little sibling should do the trick. Estelle, behind you. It's something with teeth, isn't it? Uh, nice one, sir? I'm not going to make it in time. Hey! Dad, you came. I did not see what Estelle said, but I don't care. You still lack skill and understanding, Estelle. I'm like, yeah, no shit. You must always prepare for unseen danger by sharpening your senses. That's part of what it means to be a bracer. Dad? What are you doing here? I just happened to be in town and heard the whole story from Ina. I'll give you points for your quick thinking and take an action to come after the children. We failed to follow through completely. I did my stuff, didn't I? It's a good thing you showed up when you did. I'm sorry, I should have been watching her back. That just means that you have room for improvement. Constantly working and overcoming weak spots is the key. Understood. So how about we head home, everyone? Can you boys walk? I think so. That was incredible, Mr. Bright. You were like a gazillion times more awesome than Estelle. <laughs> you brat! You absolute brat! Uh, of course I was. I'm her father. Alright, everyone. Let's file on out of here. I'm with you, Mr. Bright. Ugh. Who's the glory hog now? I mean, I guess I should be thankful that that saved my behind. Why does he have to go and take all the credit like that? It really chaps my eye. That's just the way he is. After all, he is Cassius Bright. I thought it was hilarious watching him beat up Reen. It seems like you've had quite a day. That is just unbelievable. The second we get back to Roland, he says, I'll leave the reporting to you and takes off for him. The sheer nerve, I tell you. There's no need to make a mountain out of a molehill over it. At least the boys came back safe and sound. And I think that's all there is to report. Receive payment for child rescue. Gained BP, 3 plus 1. Current rank is Junior Bracer, 9th class. You did well for your first assignment. From the details of your report alone, I believe I can commend you both for a job well done. You should be proud of yourselves. You really think so? I know so. In fact, you'll do even better on your next job. If anything else comes up, I would appreciate your help again. Sure. How about we head home, too? I guess we better. I've still got dinner to prepare. Would you mind holding on for a second? A letter arrived... For your father just a little while ago. Unfortunately, since he went straight home, I never got a chance to give it to him. Do you think you could deliver it instead? Receive letter to Cassius. I wonder if it's more work-related stuff. I imagine so. The letter appears to be from one of our foreign branches. One of the guild's foreign branches. As I'm sure you already know by now, Libero isn't the only country where the Bracer Guild exists. Top of that, your father is widely known all across Zim the Zemurian continent, so we can expect these kinds of letters from time to time. If you two would be so kind as to make sure that he gets this letter, I'd really appreciate it. I'm sure today was tough for your first day as bracers. We had a fine showing, I'll see you two tomorrow. This letter just your father's importance, so don't forget to give it to him. It literally says that this is supposed to be like a voice dialogue, but... It looks like the other point this time, if you finish any other jobs, please... I don't like the fact that it's like trailing behind! All right, let's find the hotel. No. <laughs> Oven bar.
Wait for us to settle. Yeah, I'll be. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, I should actually read that. Hold up. <laughs> uh, erected a partnership with the Libero Lloyd family, accepted church in Roland City. Destroyed during the Hundred Days War when Roland was bombarded by the Iborian Pale Army. Rebuilt the cooperation with the citizens of Roland. It's a clock tower. Oh, Hotel Roland. That's where I was going. Uh, second floor left room. Mayor's residence east of town. Man, heck this shit. I'm going home. Hey Joshua, hmm? do you think I'm really cut out to be a bracer? <sighs> oh boy, that's the question! Well, you seem to have inherited your father's... I uh, inherited your father's skill with the staff. And your nose persona doesn't let you ignore someone in distress. Really, you think so? Sure, but why are you asking? Are you still thinking about what happened back at the tower? Yeah, because of my carelessness, Luke almost got caught in the middle of a dangerous situation. If Dad hadn't come when he did, he could have been seriously injured. I guess I'm just worried about whether or not I'll be able to stay on top of things in the future. That kind of talk doesn't sound like the Estelle I know. Uh huh? If we fail today, then, that, then all that's left to do is take back our, our losses tomorrow, right? Overthinking and worrying about things that haven't happened yet is definitely not like you. Is it being a bracer what you've always dreamed of? How can you expect to succeed if you let something like what happened today discourage you? Joshua, you're right. This isn't like me at all. I don't think a serious expression really suits your face either. You're laughing like a big... You laughing like a big ditz is far more natural for you. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You're gonna see my anger expression if you keep that up. Uh, okay, I admit that last comment was pushing things a bit. I'll overlook it this time, and thanks for cheering me up. I know about you, but I'm so ready to get home and eat. My stomach's just starting out like a bear. Maybe gluttony I don't know why it does that. Like the parts that are just skipped like that. I can't wait until we're like 20 people just trailing back. <laughs> like, what the fuck? It makes so much sense in Cold Steel when it's just one person and everyone else is like inside. A dynamic hack and slash. We're home! We finished reporting to the guild like you told us to. Good work, kids. The details of your reports will be reviewed at each branch and will affect your pay and rank advancement in the future. Please make sure they always remember to do it. Don't worry, we will. And before I forget, I got that copy of the libero news you wanted. There was this letter for you at the guild, too. A letter, huh? Well, I'm going to get it cleaned up and start dinner. Oh, and Dad. Um, thanks for coming when you did today. You really helped me out back there. <laughs> I see you're being rather gracious today. Papa's happy. How delightful that my daughter has finally understood that a 
what a great man her father truly is. There's no need to tell back, Estelle. Come, jump into your father's loving arms. <laughs> Fuck sake, Cassius. <laughs> in your dreams, I swear, the men in this house have one thing in common. They never know when to shut up. I guess she's not as depressed as I thought she'd be. You should have been thinking you, Joshua. I didn't do much, just gave her a push in the right direction. Stella's a resilient girl to begin with. Yes, she is, but she still has a long way to go. But she'll run into more than just a few stumbling blocks in this line of work. And overcoming those obstacles is what will teach her to stand on her own two feet. There's that soft side of yours talking again. Oh no, are eggs supposed to explode like that? Someone go stop her from cooking! What's the third one? There's three quests coming up, and I'm trying to... Uh... Pairs of Fallen Monsters. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. There's an infinite mirror trick, like in, um... Anyway, let's just move on. I guess you should have gone and expected to make a perfect meal in a single try. No, wait, cooking's supposed to be about passion. Exploding eggs of passion, right? Now, nah, once more. Oh, boy. The daughter of Mike can sometimes be a little too passionate, yeah? I think I'll go help with dinner. We don't want the curtains to catch fire again. But this way, there's no telling when we can expect to have a bite of food right on the dinner table. Ha 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 ha! Alright then, let's see what this letter is all about, shall we? Cuts the letter seal. A message from the Arabonian Empire. Oh god. What? Oh fuck, is this when, um... Wow, this is a surprise. Edible food! This new dish is what I call a cell's explosion <laughs> over rice. Oh, fuck's sake. That's funny. Be sure to savor every last morsel. I will. Your cooking this evening is excellent. My compliments to the chef. <laughs> this is raw talent at its best. Today certainly has been a busy but great day nonetheless. We qualified as junior bracers, had our first real assignment. I didn't even lose my eyebrows making dinner this time. Not to mention the food being delicious. For our first attempt, this dish is actually quite edible. First... At first, I thought I might have to pitch it out the window when you weren't looking, but see that technique won't be necessary tonight. Sometimes you're just, you're just so despicably rude, Dad. Don't you know how to be humble and just say something tastes nice? <laughs> Alright then, how about this? Boy, I never thought I'd be able to eat something wonderful like this before I had to leave on business. You made a splendid meal, Estelle. Thanks, Dad. Wait, business? Are you really leaving again? Yes. Something I expected came up. This time, I'm going to be away for a while. <laughs> Hold on a minute. You're leaving when? Tomorrow morning. What? I don't care what kind of job you're doing. That's just too soon. It's about that letter, isn't it? Was there some sort of incident? Oh, it's nothing like that. Just a simple investigation. I'll have to visit a number of places, so it'll take me about a solid month before I'm through. Well, um...
That being the case, please take care of the house while I'm away. What do you mean, that being the case? You always use some fake excuse like that and take off for who knows how long. We have to accept it, Estelle. Abrace's job is to help those who come to us for help. I know, I know, but what are you going to do about all your jobs here at the Roland Branch? <laughs> You've already accepted a few of them, haven't you? Oh, only about five or six. So I was thinking, and how about the both of you handle them for me instead? What? Are you really asking us to do the work that you're supposed to be doing? That I am! I'll have you do the ones which I think you can accomplish. And I'll ask Sherazard to handle the difficult ones. So what do you say? Sure! Of course we will. You're okay doing these too, right Joshua? Yeah, no problem. Looks like a good way to get some experience as a bracer. Then it's settled. I'm probably out of frame. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, okay, there we go. I'll stop by the guild and let Ina know about the change of plan before I leave. Alright, I'm starting to feel more determined than ever. We'll have to bust our tails with these jobs so we don't tarnish your name while you're gone. Estelle, well, my beloved daughter. Papa is so proud. Oh, my dear Lena, who are in heaven, can you see your daughter now? My little Estelle has grown up to be such a lovely young woman. Face Dad, you're getting old. If people lose their trust in you at this age, you might as well just throw in the towel forever. I'm only helping you out because I'm your daughter and I have a duty to pay you back for the last 16 years. <laughs> I'm only 45! What's more, I'm very likely the most active member in the guild. In the entire guild. Not bad for a pair of comedians. By the way, Dad, which flight will you be on tomorrow? The one headed for Grandsel or the one headed for Bose? I'll be on the one headed for Grandsel. My flight departs at 10 o'clock in the morning. That means I'll have to get up a little early tomorrow. You better set my alarm clock just in case. Oh, good. Erebonia! So when do we meet the boy? Because we all know Olivier is in this game. So when do we meet the boy? Dad? Are you still awake, Joshua? You better hold off on the liquor or Estelle will get mad again. It's just my way of lifting my spirits before I travel. How about yourself? Would you like to join me for a drink? I'll pass. Actually, what I should be saying here is don't offer alcohol to minors. I'm not like Shara, who would jump at any chance to enjoy a drink or ten. Haha, <laughs> that's because she holds her liquor much better than I do. There's something really serious happening, isn't there? There's no conclusive evidence, but there appears to be some sort of movement within the Empire. The Arabonian Empire? That sounds pretty suspicious. This movement doesn't appear to be overt, but that's what has me worried. I intend to do a little probing at the Arambonian Embassy to see what turns up. Understood. I'll make sure to look after Estelle while you're gone. Don't you spoil that girl, you hear me? Now that she's become a bracer, she needs to learn to look after herself. Estelle will be fine. She's a got good instincts, and despite being a bit rough around the edges, she has talent with the staff as well. There's no doubt in my mind that she'll be a first-class bracer someday. Yet at present, she's like a babe in arms who knows nothing about the realities of the world around her. At some point in time, she'll have to choose which path to follow in life. And Joshua, the same thing can be said for you too. It's already been five years since you became part of this family, hasn't it? How time does fly. Yes. Oh boy! That means it's been five years since, um... Well, a lot of things happened five years ago. Oh boy! <laughs> it sure does seem that way. About what you said back then. Are you sure you won't reconsider taking those words back? For me... Keeping my word is what defines who I am. If I can't do something as simple as that, I don't know how I could live with myself. I know this may sound stubborn, but I can't take back what I said. I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize, but I'd like you to remember this. No matter what path you choose in life, you can't erase these past five years. Estelle and I will always be your family. No matter what may befall you. Not. Thanks, Dad. Oh, boy. Are we going to go without Joshua for a bit? Is that is that going to be a thing that happens? Prologue. A father's love, a new beginning. Oh, we just searched the portal. Let's go. <laughs> Normally, this is where I would end. Well, it looks like it's time for me to board my flight. Estelle, don't do anything I wouldn't do myself, and try not to be a handful for Joshua either. For the umpteenth time, I heard you already. Now how about you try not to go overboard yourself with your own work? <laughs> You're not getting any younger, you know. Say what you will, but I'm not about to be overtaken by any youngsters. 
Sherazard, I'm really sorry about placing all this work on your shoulders at the last minute. Please, don't be. I'm slightly concerned, however, about whether or not I can do a decent job in your place. There's no need to be humble, Silver Streak. And I don't mean to make your life any more difficult. Please keep an eye on these two. You just leave that to me. Is signing up the reins and not spoiling these two fine with you? You definitely understand the way I think. What's this all about? Looks to me like a mutual understanding between master and pupil. The Grand Soul Bound Airliner Linda will be departing shortly. All passengers, please board the airship now. Uh-oh, I better take my seat. Have a great trip, Dad. We'll take care of everything here while you're gone. Uh, should we go? Uh, wait, uh, I'm not sure everyone will be going, but don't forget to bring me back a souvenir. A little fat something would be nice. Hey now, this trip is for business, not pleasure. If I have any money left over, I'll certainly think about it though. Alright, you two, be good while I'm gone. Got, you gotta you gotta pick the the stall answer as much as you know. I don't like either option, but whatever. He's gone again. He... Come on, you two. There's no need to look so down. Your father will be back in no time. I don't count investigation he's been asked to do this time, but when it comes to your father, he'll have it done before you know it. I'm not sad that he's gone. He's always been away more than he's been at home. All right, all right, if you say so. Anyway, I'm going to get to work on those jobs your father left for me. But if you run into any trouble, give me a holler. I will do, but first I'll have to try and finish a few jobs with Joshua. I want to see what we're capable of doing as junior bracers. All right, if you insist. I imagine that with Joshua tagging along, there's probably not much to be worried about. Good luck, you two. Thanks. We'll do our best. So what do you want to do now, Stella? Shall we go stop by the guild? Yeah, we should probably talk to Aina and find out what jobs are waiting for us. Let's go! No, uh, option. We don't need 60 FPS. Okay, um... Let's go to the Bracer Guild, it's all- it's all quests. Oh. F 
fuck's sake. I... <sighs> oh, good morning, Estella Joshua. Has your father already left? Yep, just barely. That's why we came here to find out about the jobs he left for us. Sure. There are a total of three jobs I have lined up for you. Okay. For so, so lucky to head out to the far west of here. In the far west of here? Isn't that where Tio lives? Tio, I seem to have heard that name somewhere before. Tio Perzel. She was one of our classmates at Sunday school. She's also the Perzo Perzo Farm owner's daughter. Oh, really? It's actually the Perzo Farm that put in a request to have someone exterminate some monsters. Are they really having problems like that? Unfortunately, nobody has been hurt, but the owner and his family are upset over their fields being destroyed by the creatures. Therefore, the guild received an extermination request. I never would have expected something like that to happen. Okay, we'll head out there right now. Here, take this with you. The saga survives that you were dispatched by the guild. Please give it to the owner of the farm. We already know Tio's father pretty well, so I don't think this is necessary, but we'll take it just in case. Find the shiny rock. And... Milk Main Road Monster. Okay, so one of them is from Aina, and the other is from... Okay, um... A guy named Charles. Charles, Charles, Charles. He's got a boom. Back for us, so sorry. That's a bet. Claire, I think that even if Cass just normal tie, it's still shine as a dome mill. But Jay is tied, it's just... Blah, 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 blah. How old are you again? She's approachable and she, yeah. I believe it. I came all the way here just to find I saw this for nothing. Anyway, the shops. And the shops are bigger than I thought they'd be. I guess I'd say the back of our place is always And are you supposed to be? And then again, I really don't care who you are, I'll give you a deal. So how about you buy something? What? What are these wood carvings work for you? You won't find the workmanship like this out outside the Calvert Republic. Calvert, it's that's where it's that's a famous store or something. Is the country to the east of the Libero Kingdom? I knew that. So Calvert made folk craft items. Or wait, you're selling, huh? I'm sure you'd find a lot more people who'd take them off your hands if you went to the royal city. You think so? I really thought some place in the boonies like this one would be a, ta would be a take on these, but maybe I was wrong. Anger meter rising. Oh well, I guess I'll try adding to Grand Cell sooner rather than later. And then again, where's my son Charles up to? So I could get some help out of him. He helps and wanders off. Uh I'll be right back.
Playtime two hours. Oh, oh boy. I'm trying to close. I'm trying to continue the game. <laughs> anyway. This is really weird. Where could it have gone? Oh, excuse me, but can I ask you something? You didn't see a shiny rock around here anywhere, did you? Uh huh? A shiny rock? Yeah, that's right. Well, that's sparkles. You didn't see a rock like that lying around anywhere, did you? I think you lost something. Um, I don't recall seeing anything like that. Do you know where you might have dropped it? Well, I was calling for me, so I ran over to the general goods store where she was. I know I had it in my hand at the time, but when I came back here, it was gone. We say general goods store, you mean Mr. Rinon's store, right? Did you look in front of his store? Well, see, that's the first place I looked. You, you d need to treat me like a kid, you know. My art, you a charmer. Well, I already asked the Bracer Guild to help find it, so I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. If you happen to come across it, give me a holler straight away. I'll probably be around. Alright, go in front of the general goods store. What's this building? I don't think we've, uh, um, when he was in the military. No, I almost never talked about anything before he became a racer. Although he's often told me about my mom. How about you, Joshua? Have you heard anything from Dad? No, that goes for me as well. Even if I ask, he always finds some way to evade the subject. Yeah, he does that. He does, not he? I see. At any rate, Libero is at peace. And there's nothing I want more than to have Uni live in a time of peace. Is Uni his kid? Probably. Uh, so the soon school and the school is fun. It can be. Oh, uh, it's hard. So I need to work hard too. Think about things the, uh, this way. It's strange I don't feel lo lonely that we're apart. I guess it's just another way of showing each other our love. I have some friends that I haven't spoken to in a, in a, a, a good long while. Damn it, is that why I'm gonna to have to go grade A product before I add out my next business deal? <laughs> if you stand on the grate, okay, there's a grate. <laughs> What's the matter? I don't know what that is. There's something shining down there through the sewer grate. You're right. It looks like something must have fallen through. The sewers? Don't tell me you forgot about the sewers already. You know, that smelly monster infested place we were in not that long ago. Yesterday. All right, those sewers. <laughs> Wonder during a practical training, right? The entrance to the sewers should be just behind the chapel. If you're so interested in what's down there, then how about we check it out a, a little later? Sure, let's do that. Uh, I'm out it.
I hate everything. I'm gonna keep trying to run. There we go. Unfortunately, it's what I kind of can't avoid. I see now, the thing we saw shining through the sugar was this. Seems like a quartz fragment, huh? Now we know why it was shining so much. The way it sparkles is so beautiful. This is made of septium too, right? Loosely speaking, yes. But let's talk about it later. This isn't really a place to have a leisurely chat. I guess you're right. No normal person would want to stay here any longer than they had to. Nope, 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 there's a monster there. <sighs> hey, is that rock? Could it be that? This is the rock you've been looking for? Yep, this is the one, my shiny rock. Why is it all dirty like this? Hey, don't you have something else to say before you complain? You guys are bracers, right? I've already paid your money to the guild. Therefore, I think I have the right to complain. I he's not wrong! That's not the problem here. Calm down, Sal, he's just a kid. I know that, but... This quartz is what you were looking for, right? Yeah, that's the one. This rock is really quartz? I mean, the same kind of quartz that's in an orbit. Yep, it's the same kind of quartz made of seven. It's chipped, so it doesn't function anymore. I see. So this rock belonged to an orbit. What's wrong? You seem a bit out of it. Who, me? Oh, it's nothing. I'm glad you found it. I guess that's about it then. Oh, that reminds me. I was forgot. Here, take these. Mom gave, gives these to me and tells me they're healthy, but they're kind of bitter, so I can't stand them. Anyway, I appreciate what you did for me today. Seriously, what a cheeky little kid. I'm sure it's difficult. It's a difficult age for him. But. I wonder why he was searching for that quartz. What do you mean? Now you mentioned it, it does seem a little strange. But oh well, everyone has something they think is important. True words couldn't be spoken. Perhaps that kid has an interest in orbits. I for don't see what's so interesting about those overly complex gadgets. My brain goes dumb just thinking about them. Except for the fact that you'll have to get used to them sooner or later. You won't be able to fulfill your job as a brace if you can't use one. <laughs> alright, alright, I'll try and learn.
The math here is so, like, eh, in comparison to Cold Steel 4. But that's, like, not a fair comparison at all. I believe there's beds so we can rest in uh, at home, so let's do that. Wheel quick. I was hoping capping it would fix the, the weird frame rate glitch I'm getting in OBS, but nope. It did not, and so we uncap it again. I love all the main roads in this game, in this series, ha I have fucking monsters. We're supposed to talk to some woman. Apparently, the vegetable sandwich is the...
Okay. Now I can leave and milk a main road? I don't... Isn't that like all the way back up? John needs to pay attention. I need to brush up on my, uh, milk main road, yeah. Uh, your son's over here. Like, oh, well, he was over here. Anyway. Road monster. I have 200 CP for this next fight.
I may have to do this off screen. I'm trying to actually fi find the thing. I want to see if it's actually possible to do without the 200 CP. Because that feels cheap. CP, that's like end of that's like a big boss, not mini boss levels of it should not be that broken. This is Legend of Heroes, not Nope, not doing it. It's not here. What? Oh no, it's pine plant. Okay, pine plant. Items healing. Okay, um... Not doing it.
Okay, I'm clearly not paying attention. Uh, so... I literally got ambushed. <laughs> That's the Purzel farm. Okay, um, I'm gonna stop here. I don't know where the pine plant shit is. And I'm, I'm, I'm clearly not. No matter uh, when we come here, this place is always so tranquil. It's hard to match monsters when I'm up here. I certainly don't sense anything out of the order either. Anyway, let's go ask someone here to fill us in on the details. I wonder if Tio is home today. Anyway, uh, that could be it for today. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with more, um, so I'll see you guys then. Uh, bye-bye. <laughs>